Hi there, just continuing from the last video on digitizing a geological map in Inkscape. Um, so, so far I've uh, put in my topo map and put in my scan field map and aligned it to the topo map. And I can now hide this topo map and lock the scan field map. The scan field map has a layer opacity about 60%. So essentially what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to work from the bottom up doing my digitizing and the key here is to do all of my um, unit colors, unit boundaries are just full, um, make them fully opaque. Um, there's lots of issues that you have if you start going into translucent colors, alpha channel, that sort of thing for these. So um, we're going to start by drawing the geological units, the polygons, so these blocks of colour. Then we're going to draw the boundaries, um, and there's a little trick for that. Um, and then we're going to um, do faults, anticlines, foliation, annotation elements, that sort of thing. So this video I'm just going to cover drawing the boundaries. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Okay, so the trick here with the boundaries is we're going to start from the bottom unit and work our way up. We're going to use this pen tool, um, and although this can draw, draw curves, it'll be much easier if you just use lots of little straight line segments. So the basic approach with this is that we rough, um, we overlap the boundary first, so we do some overlap into the next unit up, and then the next unit up we do the boundary uh, correctly. So when I start here, I'm not going to start drawing along this line because I want to draw it, um, this MTO unit over the top. So all I'm going to do is just come, uh, sorry, I've got to actually click on the layer that I want to draw on, which is unit colors. So make sure you click on that layer and the opacity is 100%. Okay, back to it. And so I click through here and I can just click right through there. I'm not going to worry too much about the edges here um, because this is just a demonstration. Okay, so now I've got this black line. It's, it's kind of hard to see. So what I can do is, um, you notice this tool hints down the bottom here. Um, so it's saying put this line color on and I'm going to press shift and click to see the stroke. Now just putting that colour on just makes it easier for me to see what lines I've drawn versus opposed to um, the lines on the scan map. So it just makes it a lot easier to see that. So the next thing you want to do is um, you also want to change the thickness, which you can click down there or you can go to object, fill and stroke to bring that up. We'll just make it a little bit thicker. Um, and I'll close that. Okay, so now I'm going to draw my next um, polygon, and this time I'm going to I have to actually go along carefully along this boundary. And now I can do it roughly again. Roughly there. So there. Uh, you just use the select tool, click on this, and I'll just shift click again. Um, uh, so one thing I forgot to mention is that once you've got this one set up, what you want to do is just um, use the dropper tool that she accesses through here. So I'm just going to click on this purple unit. We want to set the color. So I just use the dropper tool and I'm just going to pick out one of these purple colors. And now that's set for that. Um, you notice that it actually just put this opacity here. If I click it, I'm not sure why that comes up. But it sometimes does. Anyway, um, 
you can always come in here and make it slide this over, slide that over to make it fully opaque. Um, I use the dropper tool again on this one. And yeah, you just sometimes have to click a few times to get rid of that opacity bit, but this is still kind of preferable. Okay, so we've got a fair idea of what we've done so far, and we're going to do the next unit. So we'll come in with the Bezier curve, and I'm going to draw the DM formation. When I get to here, I don't need to do it carefully anymore. I can just go straight across there. Um, and then I'm going to eye drop. Use the eye dropper tool. Um, first, so I'll so click on that there, just making sure that's opaque. And then I'll shift click on this. I'm not going to worry about changing the stroke width. And then I'll come in and do my last unit. So starting just here. And this one I have to do all the lines around it. Uh, I just accidentally double clicked on that a couple of times. So we made it two different segments, so I'll just start that again. Okay, click on that one unit again, and then I'll use the eyedropper um, drop tool, click out the colour, and shift click to set that stroke. So that's basically doing all the polygons. Now if you need to edit any of these, you notice I've got a line coming off to the side here. Um, you can use this node edit tool. And this is um, where it is useful if you've got just straight line segments because I can just simply drag this across and because this is overlapping this one I don't have to draw two boundaries. I just want to point that out. Um, we can have a quick preview of what we've done so far. So what I'll do is I will hide the Actually, that colour is not very good. Let me bring that back up. And get the dropper tool. Try dropping again. Let's just um, make a adjust it here. Just don't um, drag this across. You want to make it fully opaque. So that should say F, and that should be right across, that should be right across. Okay, so I'll turn that stroke and fill off, and then hide my scan maps, and then I'm going to show my top on that. So that's a bit of digitizing. <laughs>